So I'm starting off with these two regular braids. This will be helpful for those that don't know how to cornrow. I do, but this one is a way easier method. So I'm gonna apply this new cap and just tuck it in. No bobby pins, none of that. Just tuck it in there, girl. As you will see, it's flat and that's the whole purpose. The hair I will be using is by Swiss Lace. It is a 360 lace front wig. So it comes packaged very standard. Um, it comes with two combs attachment in the front and one in the back. And it has adjustable straps. And this is the curl pattern and the hair color. So now we're just gonna slap this wig on. We're just slapping it on, baby. And I am um, using the comb attachments. And wigs, straight out of the box, they always look cray cray so if you're like me and you want to really upgrade a little bit you got to customize these wigs so it does come with a good amount of lace on it you want to align it to your natural hairline and just play in it i'm showing you guys the parting and you can pretty much part it anywhere middle side the other side child it don't matter and now I am gonna cut it while it's on my head. A lot of people are scared to do this, but my hair is already very sleek back. So um, I'm definitely not cutting any of my hairs. And now I'm gonna use this got to be glue because we want this stuff to stay in place. Uh, comb attachments is not enough for me. I don't know how it works for anybody else, but I need it to stay, okay? And I do have a video on this for my first try, and I will link you guys um, down below. Now I'm using the, the freeze blaster. And, you know, the whole customizing baby hairs. It did come with some baby hairs, but it just wasn't enough for me, you know. I am definitely the baby hair type. So, <laughs> just customizing. And with the same got to be uh, gel, I am just laying down them baby hairs. I really do like this technique because it makes it look a bit more realistic than not, you know. Um, and that's the whole purpose with wearing a wig. And since I still think it's a little too wiggy and too full right at the top, I am going to just cut some of that hair off. Cut it off. I don't want it that full. I don't need it that full. Again, the purpose is to make it as realistic as possible. Now I'm gonna lay it down with this scarf because I want everything laid. And I am gonna use this mousse because I wanna get rid of frizz and I just wanna control this hair a little bit more and just fix it and customize it to my liking. And I'm gonna brush that out you guys see that? That's too pretty, it's gorgeous. I'm going to use more mousse because I wanna get every single strand. I wanna make sure that I'm the one in control of this hair. I'm gonna rake by finger detangling and now I'm gonna brush. And you know, you wanna get the back. You just wanna get it all. I'm gonna scrunch it up. Cause I don't exactly want to lose the actual pattern of this hair. I just want to tame it a little bit more. So we're just going to repeat the steps on the other side. And already I see a big difference in the hair. To make the parting more realistic, I am going to use concealer on that part and just blend that out. I think that I'm satisfied with what it's looking like now. So let me give you guys an initial review on what I think about this hair. This is um, Royal Swiss Lace Premium Class. It is a 360 um, lace front wig. It is hand tied hair all around free parting. So. It says that you can do updo styles. This lace front is, is called Judy. 
and the color that I chose was the FS1B slash 30. So um, originally, uh, as you guys saw, I had to customize the wig to my liking. Uh, it was just too wiggy at the beginning. I just felt like where I wanted to part was just way too much hair and it didn't make it look very realistic. I bought this lace front at my local beauty supply store and um, it was the, the wig that kind of like, you know, that I felt was the one for me. I love going in stores. I always say this all the time. I don't shop for wigs online. That's just my preference. I like to go in stores and try them out. Sometimes they look good on other people or on the mannequin and then you try it on and it's a whole different ball game. So that's why I like to uh, definitely purchase my wigs in the store. You know, you get to check yourself out and really get a good feel of the hair. It would be so disappointing for me to purchase wigs online and then I get it and I'm just not satisfied with it. So I avoid that altogether by just going to my local beauty shops. The hair straight out of the box, I can tell you guys that it was a little tangled. It, it's definitely not a hair that you're just gonna smoothly run your fingers through. This wig is Remy Fiber and you can use high heat. You can use high heat up to 400 degrees. Not sure if that's something that I want to do. I like to rock my wigs the way that they come. I've never flat ironed or curled a wig. Uh, they, I just rock them however they come. The most that I would do is what I did now, give it some baby hairs and add some, some mousse to it so that, you know, so that it won't be as frizzy. I'm very satisfied with the length okay like th this is my boobs and I mean it's not short but it is, isn't severely long and it's just right you know with this hair you can also do like other styles you know like ponytail here like a ponytail let's just say I want a ponytail but I will grab some more on this side. I'm very satisfied with the hair. It was very affordable and I just, I like it. I like the, uh, the waves on it. And then it comes with the color that I chose. It comes with streaks in it. They're brownish and they give you, that's it, this much parting space. I had to definitely customize it to to my liking and that's what's amazing about doing hair you know just knowing what it is that you like and you know just customize it to your liking because a lot of wigs unless you make wigs a lot of wigs they're just not like they're not like one size fits all and you know sometimes like I said previously they may look good on her but may look crap on you and then so then you customize it to your liking so that it can look somewhat decent. I just wanted to come on here and share this hair with you guys and that is it that is all I hope you guys enjoyed this. Alright y'all peace.